Welcome to our live training session number 35, part three. In this video, we're gonna finish up the rest of our tuning on our low cam of operations. So we're gonna go to the rest of the cam angle pairings on the low cam, both fuel and ignition timing tuning. And then finally, we're gonna be doing our cam angle blend in preparation for switching over to the high cam and doing that tuning process as well. So without further wait, let's jump into the live training session so we can check this out. Welcome back to our live training session here with our K24 swapped EG Civic. In the last video, we dialed in our fuel and ignition timing on our low cam, zero degree cam angle tables. So now we're ready to explore the other cam angle tables, the fuel and ignition timing, and the actual cam angle tuning on the low cam or out of VTEC. So we're gonna get all that mapped out in this video, and then we're gonna go and do a full cam angle blend. That's gonna be moving the variable cam around so that we have the broadest torque curve possible. I'm gonna be showing you that. And then we're gonna move on to actually doing the high cam in the next video, going through that process and then setting the VTEC engagement point and then finally going in and taking a look at doing flex fuel tuning on this. It does have a flex fuel sensor. So there's gonna be a lot of things to cover still. So what we're gonna do right now, because we've went in on our zero degree tables, we went in, we optimized everything. We're gonna copying and pasting our fuel table into our 10 degree. So what I'm gonna do is grab my entire fuel table. Right now I'm on my uh, my icon here for the fuel table, my one, my value of one, is going to be the low cam. So value two is gonna be high cam, value one low cam. And we can see we're on zero degree. I'm going to actually copy this, so I'm gonna highlight the table, and I'm gonna do control C. And then I'm gonna go here and use my plus button. That's gonna bump me up to my next cam angle for the fuel, and I'm going to paste, control V. Copy and paste, relatively simple. So we're gonna go into our spark timing here on our value of one, that's our low cam spark timing table. We're gonna go and bump back here to our zero degree. We're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it into our 10 degree. Copy and paste, simple. We're gonna move in here to our cam angle table. So the value of one here, there's a one and a two. The one is low cam. We're gonna go in here and from 1500 RPM and above, we're gonna do control J, toggle down set selected values to here 10. 10 degrees. So now we're going to be operating on our 10 degree fuel and ignition timing table. Now, this engine does have big cams in it. It has drag cartel 3.2 cams. And I don't know the valve to piston or the valve to valve clearances on this engine. We need to be careful as we're rotating and advancing the cam more on the intake cam. We're going to get our valve to valve clearance and our valve to piston clearance closer and closer. If we go up to something like 50 degrees VTC, we could potentially hit the pistons and the valves together or the valves and the, the valve to valve together from the intake and exhaust valve. We want to avoid that. We do not want to have mechanical contact that will damage the engine and essentially need a complete rebuild. So we're going to avoid that. What we're going to do is be conservative with our cam angle. We're only going to go here from 0, 10, 20, 30. We're going to stop there. Same on the high cam. Maximum I'm going to go is maybe 35. We're going to go and just get to 30 right now just so we know it's going to be safe everything's going to be set up right so um, we're going to be moving into the 10 degree um, what we need to do here if we jump back into our low cam zero degree table we can see that we set it on live tuning we want to make sure our 10 degree now is on live tuning so we can go through the process and speed this up we do see that our cam angle table here is already set on live we're gonna do the same here for the fuel and spark on the 10 degree. So we can make our editing changes. We don't have to shut it off, hit the upload button. If you're on Capro 1, 2, or 3, so version 1, 2, or 3, you're going to have to do that. Capro version 4 has this live tuning enabled. So what we will do here is go to online. We'll go here to select live tuning tables. In our memory here, we can see we have it 66% filled. I'm gonna go down here to the fuel low speed. We're gonna go uncheck the zero and check the 10. So that's what we're on right now we want to focus on. Same thing with our ignition timing. We're going to move down here from our ignition low speed at zero. We're going to go here to 10. So we're going to be checking that on. Simple. So now what we're going to do is go to the upload button. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.